lose more lives because we're unable to transplant. Life-saving surgeries won't stop, even though doctors and nurses already have much on their plates treating those diagnosed with COVID-19. RTV6's Troy Washington is working for you to explain how hospitals and donor networks are working together to keep recipients safe during this pandemic. Richard Waltman reached out to RTV6 with questions about whether he'll stay on track to get the heart and kidney transplant he needs as Indiana tries to slow the spread of the coronavirus. I'm just worried about what this does to the hospital's transplant programs. The federal government has classified organ transplants as essential non-elective surgery, so that means those awaiting a transplant should not worry. Since the scenario is new, recipients awaiting a donor have questions. I know a couple people have had transplants that are going up for all the time to have biopsies done and everything, and I hope they can still do that too. I'm not just worried about myself. RTV6 reached out to the Indiana Donor Network to answer some of Waltman's questions. We certainly don't want to pass on a virus to someone who is immunosuppressed as a recipient. Um, that is a, a, a very, very dangerous thing, and so we're really looking out for those recipients. Steve Johnson is the network's chief operating officer. He says they've partnered with state hospitals and the Indiana State Health Department to make sure donors are tested for the virus. They have um, helped the hospitals as well as our teams be able to get that testing done right away and get that over to them for them to be able to process and get back to us. Because as you can understand, we don't want there to be more casualties associated with the COVID-19 than um, there have to be. Especially since time is of the essence when it comes to the transplant process. Recipients waiting for a transplant know that once they get a call about a match, it's not long before the procedure takes place. That's why it's key to get donors tested quickly and get the results returned quicker. Working for you, Troy Washington, RTV6. And we reached out to Ascension St. Vincent and they tell us that they've modified their post transplant process to include virtual consultations to continue their care uninterrupted. They're also monitoring those on the donor recipient list virtually in effort to keep them from coming in contact with the virus.